Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow quarter circle fully inscribed uh, in a square A, O, B, E, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, this uh, tiny square S, T, F, E is uh, put together, as you can see once again in this uh, diagram, such that uh, it intersects uh, this quarter circle at these uh, two points, uh, C and uh, D such that uh, this segment uh, SD is uh, 8 units. Likewise, this segment uh, DT is uh, 8 as well. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, FC is 8 uh, units. And finally, this segment uh, CT is 8 units uh, as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, quarter circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are dealing with this uh, yellow quarter circle. So therefore, let's go ahead and label uh, this uh, radius uh, of this quarter circle as a lowercase r. Then uh, this uh, radius is going to be lowercase r uh, as well. And since we are dealing with this square A, O, B, E, so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, is going to be our radius R. And likewise, this uh, length uh, E, B is going to be radius R uh, as well. And now we are going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, C. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, CO is the radius uh, of this quarter circle as well. And furthermore, uh, I have extended uh, this line uh, FT all the way to this uh, point uh, P such that we get this uh, right triangle uh, CPO. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CPO. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, F P length is same as uh, this uh, B O length. B O length is radius R. So therefore, uh, this uh, F P length is going to be lowercase r as well. And now we know that this segment F C is uh, eight uh, units. So therefore, this remaining uh, F P length uh, is going to be R minus uh, eight. So therefore, our uh, this uh, side length uh, CP of this uh, right triangle turns out to be R minus 8. And now let's make an observation once again. This uh, ST length uh, is uh, 8 plus 8 makes it uh, 16. So therefore, uh, this uh, AP segment length is going to be 16 units as well. And now we know that this whole uh, AO is the radius uh, r. So therefore, uh, this uh, p o length is going to be r minus uh, 16. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to solve for this radius uh, r. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our longest leg, uh, the high part in news is radius r, whereas other two legs are uh, r minus 16 and r minus uh, 8. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we are going to have r minus 16 uh, whole square plus uh, r minus 8 uh, whole square equal to r square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus uh, 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply this uh, identity on this uh, binomial and on this binomial as well on the left hand side of this equation. So therefore this is going to become uh, r square minus uh, 32 times r plus uh, 256 plus once again on the second binomial that's going to give us r square minus 16r plus 64 equals to r square. And now we can see this r square and r square, they are gone. 
So let's go ahead and combine uh, these uh, like terms. So we are going to have uh, r square minus uh, 48 uh, times r plus uh, 320 equal to 0. And now we can see we got this uh, quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve for radius r by grouping uh, and factoring. You may use the quadratic uh, formula to solve this uh, quadratic equation as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, constant part uh, 320 that could be broken down to 8 uh, times uh, 40, isn't it? And if we add uh, 8 and 40, that is going to give us uh, 48. And that's the what number we got. So therefore, let's focus on this uh, middle term. We are going to tweak it. Negative 48 R could be written as uh, negative uh, 8 R minus uh, 40 R. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this negative 48 R uh, by this one. And now we can see between first two terms, uh, lowercase r is in common and between uh, last two terms, uh, negative 40 is in common. So therefore, let's go ahead and uh, factor out uh, radius r. So we got uh, r minus 8 and then negative 40 factored out. So we got uh, r minus 8 equal to 0. And now we can see r minus 8 and r minus 8, uh, they are in common. So therefore, we can write uh, r minus 8 times r minus 40 equal to 0. Let's go ahead and separate them. I can write uh, r minus 8 equal to 0. And here r minus 40 equal to 0. So therefore, we got two solutions r equals to positive 8 and here r equal to positive 40 units. And now we can see r equals to 8 uh, is not uh, feasible. If we substitute uh, r by 8 over here, so 8 minus 16 is going to give us negative 8. And we can see that uh, the length cannot be a negative uh, number. So therefore, we are going to reject this uh, r equals to 8 value and we are going to accept uh, r equals to 40 value. So therefore our radius uh, of this quarter circle turns out to be 40 units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle. Let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square where r is the radius. And now since we are dealing with the quarter circle, so the quarter circle area is going to be pi r square divided by 4. So therefore, this uh, yellow quarter circle area is going to be pi divided by 4 times the radius in our case is 40 whole square. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, uh, the yellow quarter circle area is going to become 400 uh, pi square units. So therefore, the quarter circle area turns out to be 400 pi square units. And that's going to be approximately equal to 1,256.64 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.